Hey, Squimbers, this is Coach Kevin McCarthy again. I wanted to touch bases with you and take this session to our third session on swim fins and talk about what kind of fins to use in what situations. And if you're a beginner with swim fins, what, what might be best? Or if you're very experienced with swim fins, uh, what you can advance to. So let's start off, first of all, um, and just assume you've never used swim fins before. Um, I'd say you can start using swim fins at any level of swimming, provided you're in shallow water. So if you're just learning how to swim, swim fins will help propel you. Um, they'll give you more confidence. They'll help you move across the water, let you be higher in the water, also let your arms relax a little bit more and learn your arm technique and strokes. Um, and it just allows you to move faster through the water with more confidence, makes it easier to do your head breathing above the water line, whether you're coming up in a breaststroke or forwardly, or if you're coming up sideways, either side or learning both sides in freestyle. So um, swim fins are great. And what I'd recommend if you are a beginner is to use a swim fin of a shorter blade length, similar to these uh, PDF fins that I showed you last time around, the swim positive drive fins with a short and elliptical blade. They work for all of the different stroke techniques and all the different strokes, whether you're doing freestyle and a flutter kick motion, or if you're doing um, a, a breast stroke, um, uh, with, which is more like a frog kick, where the fin actually turns sideways and pulls across the water and reorients and turns sideways. This fin works great for that, but it's also a nice short blade. So it's not too much resistance on on your legs and your feet, but it will give you about still about a 25% advantage. So big advantage in the water. And just remember when you're just learning how to use swim fins, you're gonna be using muscles that you already have, but you're gonna use them in different ways and in different ratios um, and um, use them more vigorously, especially certain muscle groups. So. I would recommend only using swim fins for five or 10 minutes at the very most when you first start to use them. Um, just so your muscles can get used to using them. Um, we're actually gonna have a session four on swim fins where we get more into the mechanics of using swim fins. But for today, let's just talk about getting into swim fins and what swim fins to use. So again, a short blade. And, and again, just in quick review, you can use a fin like this that has a full foot pocket. Um, which is very comfortable, available in eight sizes. And um, so I'd recommend that. Or you can use the short blade version with same short blade version, but with um, a kind of a cutoff foot, if you will, and just a heel strap that goes under your ankle, under your heel and up on the back of your ankle. And then this is adjustable. So if you, again, so if you have a wide foot, wide and short foot, you can adjust the strap in. If you have a more of a narrow foot, you would size down um, or, or um, extend the strap out. You can see they adjust with just a half knot underneath like this one. This one's got a double knot over here. I don't know how that happened. Shouldn't be there. Anyway, so uh, adjustable heel straps, very comfortable, but again, short blade. Once you get used to these, um, for several months and your legs get strong and you're really zooming through the water with them. If you wanna um, increase your performance and be even faster in the water, um, or say you're playing squim, which is a surface water sport game where you're swimming around and you want greater speed and even greater maneuverability in the water, but mostly better speed, you, would, you could take this blade size um, or geometry and go to a longer blade. You can see the difference here same foot pocket size, but you can see this fin has much more blade on it um, compared to this one. So about the same foot pocket, actually, yeah, yeah, about the same foot pocket size, but this has much more blade. And just like this one, you can see here that this blade is a little bit lateral to the foot. And that's because most of the time when your foot is kicking, it's kicking, it's kicking off, not off your big toe, but it's kicking kind of off your middle toe or even small toe, kind of at that angle is where most of your propulsion is. So again, you can see the blade mass is shifted to the side here. Um, so that gives you uh, optimal power off, off your foot. And again, 
as we talked about in the last session, your foot moves in and out of supination in both the flutter kick motion and also in the breaststroke kick. So this elliptical blade allows you to get optimal power in either this orientation or this orientation. It gives you great power. I swim in these and these depending on what I'm doing and depending on how I feel and if I'm already tired. If my legs are already have had great workout, I'll sometimes go down a size if I'm playing swim or just swimming in the ocean. But if I, for whatever reason, if I'm in a more competitive game, I think I need, if I'm playing with young kids and they're really fast, um, I need to get around and, and if I've got the energy, I'll wear the bigger blade because they give me a lot more power, a lot more speed, but there's also more resistance on your legs. So you really want to be in pretty good shape and have your muscles in good condition to use these bigger blades, but super powerful, super performance. Now, for those of you that are very experienced watermen and you want um, a great, uh, say you're in the ocean a lot, body surfing, or if you're a lifeguard and you're rescuing, um, either of these fins are great. Naturally, this one is much higher, more higher performance because um, uh, it has more power, it has a bigger blade, but there is even one other fin for, say, say big wave body surfing or um, ocean water rescue for lifeguards. Um, and again, this has the same ellipt um, um, same uh, type of foot pocket. As you can see, it's got some drain holes in a different position here. But you can see it's got a much larger uh, profile of blade. Um, it extends much, much further out, almost, almost five, six inches off the foot. Let me give you a better, better look here. Now, this one, it has a tri-tip design. Um, and as you can see, when the foot is um, in anatomical alignment, you're basically going to be kicking straight off here. But when your foot is supinated, which it is quite often in the in the flutter kick motion or in the breaststroke, uh, breaststroke kick, you'll be kicking a little bit more off at this angle. Um, again, this fin moves through the water very nicely and moves back and forth in and out of supination. So um, very powerful. But again, I would not recommend starting with this fin. A lot of power, a lot of performance, um, even more so than the other two fins but a lot more load on your legs and your ankles. Um, you're gonna wanna be in pretty good condition to benefit from these. You can try them and, and they'll be very comfortable maybe for five, 10, 15 minutes, but then they, they will fatigue your legs because there's just a lot more load on your legs. So just a very high performance fin. So there's three different styles. Again, you've got the very short blade, um, great for the beginner, beginner to intermediate um, or for shallow, shallow to, moderate depth waters and then you've got kind of an intermediate blade here which has great power and great performance for shallow or deep water um, and for experienced um, uh, swimmers and swimmers and then you've got this fin this big one which is called as you can see here you can see there it's called the knife in can you see that in the lighting there probably um, and this fin is for professional lifeguards body surfers, or those that are swimmers that want a lot of propulsion. So thanks for watching. Um, have fun using fins this summer. Again, all of these fins actually you can buy through um, elifeguard.com um, or um, you can try the American Red Cross, I think for the shorter, for the shorter blade, they've got those there as well. So um, you can check those out anywhere online. Uh, have a great summer and we're going to have a session for about swim fins and talk a little bit more about technique uh, when I come back. So uh, um, have a great time using fins this summer and let's talk soon. Bye.